Hi, my name's Claire and I'm part of the Southern Counties Baptist Association team and the team send you their love, send you their greetings and are praying for you. I was just thinking, I haven't actually seen them in real life for like eight months now. Oh, it's strange. And I'm sure it's strange for you and whatever context you're watching this from. Last time I did a video, I was, I shared um, how difficult I sometimes find just 20 minutes of silence and of stillness with God. And um, I've been really working on that. And this week I went for a walk for miles and just my by myself, which is quite unusual for me. Normally I kind of, I need to have company, but I was like, now I'm going to go for a walk with God and just try to create that um, sense of stillness um, and sense of silence. And it was quite a biggie for me because I'm sure like you, it's a really busy term. And so it felt a bit, um, can I afford to do this? Can I have, I, have I got the time to do this? But I made the time and it was great. I have to say it was quite hard to um, steal my brain, but I think that maybe will come with practice. Um, and the thing that kind of bubbled up for me, because it's always the way, isn't it? When you create that space, things can bubble up. I was reminded um, of a story that was shared at college when I was doing some teaching a couple of weeks ago. And it was the Christmas story again, and it was godly play. So it was using those figures, which I've, um, I've shared with you before. Um, but this time, the character in the story that really struck me, or the characters, were the Magi. And um, on my walk, I just got that sense of, for them, you know, they're gazing at the stars, that their eyes were lifted up. And that through time of study and of just being able to read the signs of the times, they were able to be obedient. And um, it strikes me that we can have our eyes so focused on the ground and on doing the work that God has called us to do and loving the people that God has loved, called us to love and somewhere along the line that can become just us being really really busy and how those spaces where we can lift our eyes up, um, those opportunities where we can maybe get into scripture or we can read around topics, those moments of study can help us to have a perspective um, beyond what's happening on the ground. And by looking up, we can maybe read the signs of the times. And um, I've had a chance to think about what that might mean for me in, in my work and creating those spaces so that I can sort of maybe see where God is at work um, and notice what he might be calling us to and how valuable and important that is. And so, yeah, the story of the Magi, um, I wonder if you spent time thinking about their journey. I wonder what God might be saying to you. And um, it kind of also then made me think about um, this passage in Ephesians, um, a beautiful passage that I'm sure we'll all be really familiar with. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Because if we keep our eyes just focused on the ground, we can't begin to imagine all that might be. If we're so busy with our eyes on the ground, we just stick with what we know. And yet this passage tells us that God can do more than what we already know. He can do more than what we could possibly imagine. Uh, and I always think I've got quite a good imagination, so I get really excited because I think if God can do more than that, how awesome is this going to be? And I don't want to miss it because my eyes are down. I want to see what he's going to be doing because my eyes are up, 
looking for him. Looking for him and what he's doing in my community. Looking for him and what he's doing in the lives of the people that I encounter. Looking for him in what he's doing in our country and in our world. Looking for the signs of him at work. And so this week, may you too be like the Magi, whose eyes aren't focused on the ground, but whose eyes were lifted up and they had the courage to follow that star, to see the signs. May we be like that too. God bless you this week. Mm -hmm.